Hello everybody, today we're installing our GTA car kit into 2002 Mazda MPV. So we'll start off with what tools you'll need. You'll need some uh, type of a clip removal tool or panel removal tool. And you'll need a Phillips screwdriver and it has to be a small one because you're going to have to get two screws above the cluster here. And uh, that's actually what we're going to start off with. Is uh, so we have to remove this whole panel, the black panel around the around the cluster it just comes off as one piece. So uh, we're gonna start off by removing the two Phillips screws that are that are here. And that's pretty much the only two screws holding this uh, panel in, and everything else is just clips. So if you're using a long screwdriver. It's not gonna work, but if you use the small one, then everything will be good and it will come out. So once you remove the two screws, you have to now use your uh, panel removal tool. So we'll start off from uh, this corner. We're gonna just get it, get underneath here, and work your way around. just all held on clips so don't worry about don't worry about breaking anything uh, now we're gonna go over to this side it's uh, best to open the door uh, because uh, once you open the door a little bit you can get underneath here Remove it there. The toughest clip to get out is the one that is behind here. But if you just wiggle it around, you can get it out. So now, once it's loose, uh, you have to make sure you either use your parking brake or keep your foot on the brake uh, because you have to put it to the ignition and uh, move the lever all the way down. Make sure the car doesn't roll back and we're gonna put the panel there and we're gonna put it back to park and turn off the car. Uh, so the next step, so once you remove the panel now you can see what's holding the radio. There's four uh, Phillips screws that are holding the radio. So two here and two more here. So that's what we're gonna do next. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove these four Phillips screws. So now that we've removed the four Phillips screws, now the radio is ready to come out. So we're just going to carefully pull it out towards you. Once you pull it out, it's uh, kind of hard to see, you have to see from this side. Uh, this is where our GTA car kit is going to go, into this empty uh, plug here. Uh, so we're just going to leave it here for now to show you our GTA car kit. Uh, so the GTA car kit looks like this. You have uh, the module in the middle and then you have uh, this. Uh, this is what's gonna go to the back of the radio facing down. And on the other side you have uh, two cables coming out. One is for the auxiliary and one is for the uh, pretty much any Apple connection. Uh, you don't have to buy anything extra it all comes in, in uh, one kit, you don't have to buy any cables ex uh, separately. Uh, so we're just going to put it down and then I'm going to take the radio out and uh, just put this connection in. Just like that so it clicks. Also don't forget to put in the antenna, it goes right here. I'm just going to put it in and that's it. So once you plugged in the kit pretty much it. You have a uh, iPod <laughs> integration so uh, we suggest you test everything. So we're just gonna put it to our uh, first position of the ignition so the radio turns on. We're gonna turn it on. So there's our radio regular FM mode and then you're gonna press your CD. Uh, if you press it one time it's gonna be a regular CD uh, player 
And uh, if you press it one more time, it's gonna say CD CH, so basically means CD changer. So now the car thinks it has an external CD changer. So we're gonna take our Apple connection. We're gonna take our iPhone 4. And uh, once you plug it in, it's gonna start charging. And uh, gonna automatically start playing. So we'll start off with going to uh, by using this disk uh, down and up buttons, we're gonna go to disk one, which is our hybrid mode. So in this mode, uh, you can switch the songs uh, both from the from your iPhone and also through your steering wheel controls. As you can see, I'm switching through here. And also, this car has steering wheel controls, just the up button, so when I press it, as you can see, it's changing the songs from here. So you can just basically put any playlist you like, or your artist that you like, and just put the iPhone away, and just switch the songs using your radio so you don't have to look every time. This car doesn't support text display, so you'll not get text. Uh, the other option that we have how to listen to your music is by playlist. So once we use the disc up button, so once we go to disc 2, the iPhone locks and this is our first playlist. Uh, this 3 is our second, third, uh, fourth and so on. Uh, but this is mostly for the cars that uh, have uh, a text display. Because uh, see, it's locked on the iPod and it's locked uh, and it doesn't show you anything here. So uh, it's up to you how you want to listen to your music. But uh, I would suggest just using the disc uh, one, which is uh, the one you can uh, see the songs both from the radio. I mean, from uh, from the iPhone or iPod, and then you can just switch through your radio. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this radio. The kit will work the same way in newer MPVs, the ones that don't have a tape player. Uh, the CD player will not be disabled. Uh, if you have a changer inside here, like a six disc changer will also not be disabled. So just basically it's an option that you're adding. You're not gonna lose any of your features that you had before. So once you tested it, uh, make sure that uh, everything works properly, that uh, all the speakers work. After you tested it, uh, then you have to run the cables uh, somewhere, wherever you like. Uh, there's two, basically two spots uh, on this car. It's either the glove box, and to get to the glove box, you have to basically just uh, fish the wire through the side here. Uh, we suggest using like a coat hanger or anything like that. Or if you have skinny hands, you can pretty much get it, get underneath and get in there. Another good spot on this car is through here and it's also you'll need to fish the wire because uh, w when you have it in this position there's a gap here in the back so if you remove the radio you'll see like you'll be able to see your hand and uh, as I said if you have skinny hands you can feed it through if not then you can use a coat hanger and uh, that's pretty much it and you'll have to mount the module in the back of the radio, there's uh, plenty of spots. Uh, you can even mount it behind the bracket there. Uh, you can mount it with the zip ties. But uh, the main point is that you just take the kit, plug it in, and you can listen to your iPhone, iPod. You don't have to change the radio. So <clears throat> uh, this was the video for GTA Car Kits. Uh, I hope you liked the video, and uh, we'll see you next time.